Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about getting eyelash extensions. So about three weeks ago, I got my eyelash extensions done by the lovely people at Sugar Lash Pro. They came to my apartment. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys and also from a lot of people just in my personal life about getting eyelash extensions. What is it like? Is it worth it? Do you like them? I thought I would just go ahead and make a video and let you guys know what to expect when you get false eyelashes, how to prepare for them, how to maintain them, and uh, if it's maybe the right thing for you to try. If you guys are new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you guys would join me here. Also, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to hit that little bell so that when I upload a new video, you are notified and you can watch it immediately. Just like me when the new Handmaid's Tale episodes drop on Hulu. I am sitting there on my computer. I am waiting for it. That's how I'd like you guys to be with my videos. All right, all right. So Sugar Lash Pro is an amazing eyelash extension company and I had an incredible experience with my lash technician Courtney. I highly recommend their services to anyone. They also do lash lifts. They do the classic extensions, which is what I did, and then they do a more dramatic version of their lash extensions, which is called the volume. I Basically for every day, I just want classic looking eyelashes. I don't want to look crazy. I don't want to look like, woo, like super nutso eyelashes. So I don't get eyelash extensions all the time, but I do love getting them for special events. I do know some people who get them and they just have them constantly. But for me, I just, it's a lot of upkeep for me. And so I like to do it when I know I have a special event. Here's the lowdown on getting lash extensions. First of all, before your appointment, you wanna make sure that your eyelashes are completely clean, like thoroughly cleaned. You don't want any residue of um, mascara or old eye makeup just to make sure that you have nice bare lashes for the technician to work with. Before you go get your lashes done, make sure you thoroughly vet the person that is doing it, especially if it's before a very important event like your wedding. Last time I got my lash extensions was for my wedding last fall, and then I got like a more dramatic set of eyelashes, which like, I had a really bad experience actually. I found this girl on Yelp, and she happened to be on Groupon as well, and I had Groupon dollars, and I was broke because I'd spent all my money for my wedding. So I was like, I just need to do this on Groupon because I already have this credit for Groupon and this girl had pretty good reviews on Yelp. And so I went in and I was like, I want to have sort of dramatic eyelashes, but like, I don't want it to be over the top. Like I want it to be noticeable enough and glam, but still on the natural side. Let me tell you, after she applied them and they were awful. She ended up fixing it and I ended up liking my lashes just fine, but it's a super stressful situation for right before you get married. So if you're getting lash extensions right before your wedding, I would highly recommend to go with somebody like Sugar Lash Pro that you know are reputable and are gonna do a great job, or just go to somebody that like your friends recommend and get a trial first. Live from my mistakes. You need to look for salons that have a lot of positive reviews. Think of it kind of like a nail salon. You wouldn't go to a nail salon that has bad reviews and you wouldn't want to go to a nail salon that uses like dirty equipment. You would want to make sure that the equipment that they're using is sterilized and it's a safe environment for you. It's the same thing with lash extensions. One thing to always do is ask the salon or the technician about the lash adhesive that they're using. If they don't give you a straight answer, run away, girl, because you do not want to be going to a salon that has formaldehyde in their lash adhesive. No. Adhesive that has formaldehyde can cause eye irritation and swelling and a bunch of other not so cute problems, so don't go there. I'm going to read this and I'm probably going to butcher it, but adhesive or glue is made with butyclinosinate and octyclinacrylate are better. They're less toxic. Look for that. I'll spell it down here on the bottom because I can't say those words. When you have lash extensions, you basically wake up and your eyelashes are already looking amazing. And honestly, when I have lash extensions, I don't feel like I need to put on that much makeup because the, just having those lashes 
just makes the rest of your face look so bright and put together and that's one of the pros about having lashes another tip don't go straight for like the super dramatic kardashian type lashes your own eyelashes might not be able to handle that so everyone's eyelashes are a little different and if you go for that super heavy dramatic eyelash look your lashes might not be able to maintain that or hold it and you could cause more damage to your lashes in the long run which is not what you want to do if you find a good lash tech like Courtney was for me, they can look at your face shape and they can let you know what they think is best for you. So for me, my eyes are sort of downturned on the outside edges, so I need more lashes in the middle to sort of bring up my eyes and make my eyes look more open and bright. I always thought that I needed more of a cat eye, more like winged out on the edges to make it look like that, and it turns out that is false. That makes my eyes look heavier and sleepier. Find a good lash tech who knows what they're doing. The lash tech knows better than you if they're really good at their job. Be aware that after you get your lashes done, you cannot get your lashes wet for 24 hours. So make sure you take that shower, don't go swimming, don't get all super sweaty, just do your workout and your shower in the morning before your appointment and just chill out. It's best after you get your lashes done to not wear mascara with them. I'm wearing mascara now because my lashes are starting to fall out so I just want more of that look. But when you first get them done, you don't even need it. Your lashes look amazing and you don't need mascara. So if you want your lash extensions to last longer, don't wear mascara. If you're gonna wear eye makeup, avoid products that have oil in them. Products with oil in them will break down the adhesive of your lashes and that will make your extensions not last as long. At night, when you're cleaning your face, also, same rule applies. Use oil-free cleaners and um, products to wash your face and do your skincare routine so that your lashes last longer. Every day, you want to make sure to brush out your eyelashes with a spoolie brush in the morning and at night and that helps to detangle them and also keep them looking perfect and in the position that they need to be. The tech gave me this product to use actually to clean my eyelids and my eyelashes. This is safe for your eyelids, so thank you guys for hooking me up with that because I'm always so paranoid about washing my face or my eyes, especially when I have eyelash extensions. Make sure, and this one's so hard for me, not to rub your eyes. I always rub my eyes when I get tired at night and so there's always like the first couple of days I have to be like ah don't do that so just sit on your hands be conscious and don't rub your eyes because you might rub your eyelashes out here are the pros of getting eyelash extensions they look super natural much more natural than strip lashes and they last six to eight weeks whereas strip lashes you have to take them off at night literally can wake up and be a flawless, just like Beyonce. I woke up like this. The other thing that makes eyelash extensions way better than strip adhesive lashes is they just look so much more natural because they're customized and they're placed on each individual lash. These, it just looks so much more natural, which is why it's great for things where you're going to be photographed a lot, like a wedding or prom or, I don't know, insert any important life event where you want to have your pictures look nice. Here's the real talk. Lash extensions can be pricey and difficult to maintain. So when you get your full lashes done, it's gonna cost you the most because that's sort of like the upfront longest appointment. It can run you anywhere between $150 upwards into the 200s depending on where you go. Once you get your lashes done, it's kind of up to you if you want to keep them up. You can go in just like if you get acrylic nails for fills. So you would go every three weeks or so and those appointments typically are a little bit less expensive and they're not as long because they're just filling in where some of the lashes that they put in before fell out, which will happen naturally because your own eyelashes fall out eventually and so you have to go in every so often for fills. We'll say my Sugar Lush Pro Lashes are lasting really well. Like this is after three weeks of traveling and kind of doing intense things like jumping off yachts into the ocean. I'll give you guys a close up look so you can kind of 
see my lashes after about three weeks but i have not had any fills yet that's enough chit chatting and now i'm going to cut to the footage that we took the day when i was getting my lashes done so you can kind of see how it works the procedure it takes about two hours to get a full set done and i usually just take a nap because it's pretty relaxing if i'm snoring in some of these videos don't judge me um guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope that it helped educate you about eyelash extensions maybe you want to try them now maybe you don't i highly recommend it because i'm obsessed with them and i kind of want to go get a fill and keep up this lifestyle that i'm living here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up it really helps me grow my channel make sure that you subscribe i'll see you in the next video and until then Oh guys, have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye.